Hey guys, Ryan King here, and I'm the keyboard instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In today's YouTube lesson, we're going to take a look at the song Light of the World by Chris Tomlin, and specifically, we're going to look at the verse. Now, we're only going to look at the verse, so if you want to see the entire lesson, you need to click the link and head over to Worship Artistry, where you can sign up for an account for less than 10 bucks a month, and it's totally worth it. But just in case you want to check out a YouTube video, this is for you. This song kicks off with us fading in on our nice warm pad here, and then it launches into the first verse. Now we're only going to use our pad for the first verse, and the verse is kind of broken up into two sections. You've got really the verse section, and then the chords change into a walk up from C sharp minor, and that really is kind of almost like a, a pre-chorus kind of section. And so you'll do the verse, you'll do that pre-chorus walk up, and then you'll go into the second verse. Now at the end of the second verse, the pre-chorus is doubled, and so we'll do that twice before going into the chorus. We have a third verse that we go back to and the same thing happens with that pre-chorus and also that pre-chorus is the same chord structure for the bridge so that's what makes this song very nice is that for the most part we only really have two sections we have to learn the chorus the verse, and then we've got this bridge kind of walk up. And so all the verses are identical with the exception of you're extending kind of that pre-chorus section and they look like this. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, pre chorus walk up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, hold the E, two, three, we'll add the piano. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and off. Now I added that piano in at the end of kind of that pre-chorus section so you could really hear the chord changes and the only time I'm doing those little walk-ups in my right hand is when I am using the piano. For the first verse, I'm not going to do that. So all we're doing is uh, G sharp minor, and we're not playing the octave G sharps in our left hand. So the first verse, it's only going to be your right hand, but I'll play both so you can see. G sharp minor, F sharp sus, to B. Notice my right hand only changes from the D sharp down to the C sharp and back. Again, G sharp minor, F sharp sus, B. Now here's the pre-chorus walk up. We go to C sharp minor, B over D sharp, E2, F sharp sus, walk up again, C sharp minor, B over D sharp, hold the E, and then it goes back to the second verse. Now this time we'll add in our organ and our pad, and we'll do the G sharp minor, F sharp, B, again G sharp, F sharp, B, and then we'll add in all three sounds and do the pre-chorus. Now this is a double pre-chorus. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And a one, two, three, four. Hold the E. Two, three, again. C sharp minor, B over D sharp, E two, F sharp sus. Back again. Hold the E. One, two, three, four, and off. Now that pre-chorus walk up is going to be the same thing for the bridge. When we go to the bridge, we'll just kind of peel it back and let it be just the pad. Now you'll do the pad, then you'll add in the piano, and then you'll add in uh, the B3 organ as we launch in to the chorus. So again, the bridge and this pre-chorus kind of walk up section are identical. Make sure you take a look at your sheet music down below, work through the loop videos a few times, and let's move on to the next part of the lesson.